We are now entering the living space of my client's basement. And this space here has pretty much everything that you could want to entertain your family or friends. So we're starting off with this custom area here where we have three gorgeous pendants that we chose. Uh, we love the way that it casts the shadows onto this corner of the wall. We've got this custom bench that we did in this beautiful deep teal color. And we have some accent pillows here to match, as well as some orange to tie into some of the other accents that we have in the space. The wall color, as you'll see throughout, that we left neutral throughout the whole entire basement. This is painted natural linen by Benjamin Moore. We did this because we really wanted to let all of the accessories and some of the fixed elements and the soft furnishings really set the tone and just let this be a subtle backdrop. One of the biggest challenges when you're doing a basement of this size is the bulkheads. And I know I've mentioned it already, but it is seriously was the bane of my existence for some time. When we were doing this space, I recommended to the clients that we actually paint this bulkhead blue because it goes right into this poker room, which I'm going to take you to shortly. And the poker room we wanted to leave as an open space. Before we get to the poker room, I just want to take you to this beautiful bar with the island with the waterfall countertop. This is a quartz countertop, white quartz, and just again, just speaks beautifully, nice and clean, and matches really nicely with the custom cabinetry that we have here. Pull-outs offer great storage. You're not kind of getting in the cupboards and trying to dig out and try to find what you need. It's all right there for you to easily access. We also have this pull-out dishwasher drawer, which is great. Again, so when you're entertaining, my clients don't have to go upstairs and take the dishes. Everything's here that they need, which is perfect. We have a sink with double faucets, so here you can get your refreshing water, and then here, obviously, when you want to rinse out your dishes. My favorite thing! The favorite part of this whole entire basement for me is this backsplash wall. We found this tile, I showed my client, and they fell in love with it instantly. Again, it incorporates all of the colors that we have within the space, so this, to me, was just like hitting the jackpot when I found this. Here we have an ice maker, which you may not be able to see from there. We have an ice maker, and then here we have pull-up for even more storage. Fridge here and a freezer, but again, just looks like it's part of the cabinetry. And nowadays we're so into recycling and we want to be able to organize all of our recycling and our garbage that we must have a pull-up right here. So it's a perfect size. The drawer isn't overly deep, but it does exactly what we need it to do. before now we're coming down into the poker room. This room really was inspired by the wallpaper, the iridescent blue and the deep black, and it really set the tone for the rest of the room. But if you look really closely, you can see that it's called Mary Antoinette Shoes and that there are little shoes, and that's how you get the design. They're kind of spiraling around. And it really gave us the inspiration for the rest of the space. So we have this beautiful black leather table with some nail head trim along it, and we also have this beautiful blue top. It works really well. My Clients have already played poker in here and they really love the space. The beautiful light just gives it again that little bit of bling and the bulkhead, as I mentioned before, it just really adds to the drama of the space. So totally loving this little corner of the room. And you're right close to the bar, so if you need a drink, all you have to do is get up and get one. Mm -hmm. 